how to set up a simple workflow in Neptune DXP. To start setting up a workflow, we need to create a new workflow definition in the cockpit. Here, I title it Demo Approval Workflow. After this, we can jump straight into the workflow editor. Within this interface, we have a number of components on the left that we can drag and drop into the workflow builder in the middle. Let's grab a script task and connect it to the start node. Let's rename the script task to verify type. Under the script task, we place true and false from the script actions and connect it to the script task. This will allow us to route the process of the workflow depending on the result of the script, either being true or false. In this example, we'll place a user task and connect it to the true outcome of the script task. This will be a peer approval task. Similarly, for the false outcome of the script, we will have a different user task, which will be a manager approval task. Both these user tasks will share the same approve and reject process. Let's grab both from under the user actions folder. And then we can link them all together. So each user task connects to both the approve and reject action. This workflow so far simply lets two different users approve or reject a task depending on the initial result of the verify type script. Following on from the approve and reject processes, we connect a completed event and a cancel event, which mark the end of the workflow. Now our workflow is constructed, we can start to configure each component. The initial script task, as you can see here, is empty. So let's start by jumping into the script editor to create the script for it. We start by creating a project, in this case called Demo Approval Workflow. We can right click on scripts, add a new script to the project, and let's title it Expense Verify. This script simply checks if the object type of the incoming workflow data is equal to the term expense. If it is, then it sets the result of the script to false. If it's anything else, then the result will be true. Once that's finished, we can jump back to the workflow and assign that server script to the script task. Now, in order to trigger this workflow from within an app, we need to copy this code found on the far right of the workflow definition. Let's jump into the app designer to show how this is done. We start by creating a new app. Let's call it Trigger Demo Workflow, and we'll just make it a basic full screen app. Let's build an interface that allows us to interact with the workflow. To do so, we'll utilize the simple form object and populate it with three labels. We'll add a selection box with two list items. We'll add in an input field and finally a date picker. Let's just organize these elements within the tree so we have a label paired with each item. Let's name the first label description and populate the text attribute of the label with the name description2. We'll name the selection box type and name each list item as expense and other. The next label will be amount. We also copy that to the text property of the label followed by the input, which we will also title amount. The final label 
we'll name date and we populate the text property with date too. Once we activate the application, we can see all our hard work is paid off with a simple clean interface. Let's just go back and populate each of our list items of our select box with an appropriate key and text attribute, in this case the same as what we titled each element earlier, expense and other. Once we activate the application, we can see the two items within the select box. Now let's add a button to trigger the workflow. We can place it in the middle of the footer. Let's give it a text of submit, a type property of accept, and pick an icon. Activating again, we can see the button at the bottom of the app. Now within the press event of the button, we can paste the code that we copied from the workflow. Now the only changes we need to do here are replace the object type value with whatever key is selected from the select box within the app. And we use the dot get selected key method to do this. It's a similar process for the object key. We use the dot get date value method from the O date picker to get the selected dates. And finally, the amount is just the dot get value method of the O input amount element. Let's activate the app and move on to setting up the task actions in the workflow. Creating these actions allow you to define tasks for different users. In our example, we need two task actions, one for approving a peer expense and another for a manager to approve an expense. Once we have these two task actions set up, we can create an approvers list. Each approver can either be an individual user account, or a specific role, or a group of users. In this example, we'll just assign our one admin user to be able to action both tasks we've created. But in a real scenario, you'd likely assign a different user group or role to each action. Now that that's all set up, we can jump back to the workflow editor and set up the approval determination for each of our user tasks. We set it to the demo workflow approvals list that we set up a moment ago. And then each task can be assigned to its appropriate task action. So the peer approval user task gets the approved peer expense task action, and the manager approval user task gets the manager approved expense task action. Let's save and jump back into our app to test the workflow. Just before we use the app to trigger the workflow, let's just use one of the available code snippets to show a message after the workflow code has run, so we have a visual indicator that the code has been executed. Now let's activate and use the interface. Selecting expense from the drop-down list, entering an amount, and selecting a date. We'll submit that and create another expense under the other description too. Now we can see the result of all our hard work by jumping into the workflow overview monitor. Here we can see our two expense claims in the inbox. If we inspect the details of each, we can see the log of each process. This expense is waiting for a peer approval, and the other is waiting for a manager's approval. Perfect. It's now possible to use a workflow inbox app to manage these 
or any other workflow user tasks that we create.